Hi people, Karibuni sana to this week's episode. This is Mama Zulu Held and today, topic ya leo by the way inanibamba sana. We'll be talking uh, about how to bathe. So I'll show you how to bathe a baby, especially a newborn baby. Kuna watu wanaogopa sana kuosha mtoto mdogo. But after this episode, you will be very comfortable to do it. Thank you, Karibu. So guys, here we are. Uh, like I always tell you, hygiene is paramount. So I have washed my hands clean with a dry towel before I prepare anything. So I want to take you step by step so that it is as easy for you as possible. So first I'll start with showing you how to prepare the bath water. Uh, so first I have warm, hot water. So I put the hot water. Uh, I think that should be enough. Then it's very hot, so you need cold water to So what I encourage parents is that you use your don't use your palm to test the uh, level of temperature for the water. You use your skin so that you feel the right temperature for the water. So I use my elbow, uh, the skin that is right here, to test the water. It's still a bit hot, so I add more cold water. So again, I'll use the skin and not the pump to test the water. So that is okay now. It is almost the temperature, uh, the right temperature for the baby. Then I'll use a few drops of the liquid soap. You can use any soap that you want. So I'll just put a few drops of the liquid soap. You can use any soap that you want, but I prefer using the liquid soap for the smaller babies because it's a bit gentle. So you mix the water very well. And then I'll make sure I have a face towel a bathing towel to bathe the baby's body then I'll have two smaller towels for the face and the eyes so now if it, everything is okay but please make sure that you have everything including the oil and the clothes before you start everything because you cannot leave the baby unattended to go get something at all you should never ever leave the baby unattended so I will prepare everything I've prepared the clothes they're right here I've prepared the bathing towels the oil the soap and everything that I need for this so now today is on a very cold day it's rainy actually that is why you can see i have a heater here but uh, it just depends with the temperature in your house at that time you do not need to have it but if it's a rainy day or a very cold day you can have it just to feel make the baby feel comfortable so without further ado let's get to the action So guys, here we are, uh, I will not waste any more time, I will go direct, straight to, <laughs> he's very happy so fast, you have to reassure him that he's going to take a bath, he or she is going to take a bath, though I feel comfortable as he tends a mass So baby, I want us to take a shower, okay? So it, it's not going to be bad, it's going to be very comfortable for you to feel clean and comfortable. So what? Good. So we go. So I like starting with the face. So when you're holding the baby, make sure the head and the neck is always supported uh, like that with one arm. And then the rest of the body, you hold it with your side and the elbow of the other hand. Of the same hand, sorry. So that your other hand is free to do the uh, bathing. So with one towel, I will do the... Sorry, daddy. So I wash the face, the eyes. So when you're washing the eyes, make sure you wash from the inside to the outside, like that. And then with a separate towel or a cotton wool, you use... Uh, you wash the other eye. Don't use the same cotton for both eyes. 
So from the inside to the outside again. So the eyes are okay now. We can do the face uh, from the forehead downwards. Then you don't use the same parts. So like that. You wash that way and that way. Make sure you clean all parts of the face. And then the ears. Make sure you wipe. Don't put water on the face because uh, it might get inside the ears. And for a smaller baby, that is not okay. Very okay. So when the face is clean, now you can wash the head with water. Very gently because it's still a very small baby. This is a newborn, by the way. It's barely one month. So we do very gently. Baby, this is going to be okay. Don't worry because I'll be gentle with you. And you'll be very comfortable with this. So you can scrub just a little. Like that. Oh, and he has very nice hair. So that is it. Make sure you wash every part of the head. And then, uh, using my towel. Please pass me the towel. Thank you. So you should have someone to assist you because you should never leave the baby unattended. But if you don't have anyone to assist you, make sure everything is close to you. So after washing every uh, all those parts, then I will remove this. So you have noted that when I was washing the head, all the other parts were covered with a towel to make sure the baby doesn't feel cold. So now you put him inside. Remember, we are keeping the face and the head and the neck supported at all times. Then you dip the rest of the body inside the water. Now you can clean with your towel. Uh, good boy. Na, 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 na. Please pay attention to all folds, like the neck. It's always folded, so you might easily miss it out. Wash it. Sorry, boy. So you wash it. All the folds, including the this part, we can add more soap. Sorry. Uh, make sure you have the right amount. So you support the head and the neck in one arm so that you can wash this part. I'm forgetting how it's called. Ma, ma, papa. In English, I don't know. We seem to work Zungu sana. But in Kiswahili, it's called Makwapa. The armpits, that is. <laughs> Sorry. Then the hands, they like folding their hands. I don't know. Ama ondo wanakuja na sahani yao, wanaishika kwa mkono juhawa. Awa pungui kabisa. So you open the hand and wash in here. Pay attention to all folds, like this here is always folded and you might miss it out easily. So you wash, then you can, all, uh, supporting the head and the neck again, then you can hold them so that you wash the other hand as well. Uh, you can see this part is always dirty, so make sure you don't miss it out. Ta -ra -ra. Ta -ra -ra -ra. Sorry. Okay. So the toes in between, don't forget them. And in here, the genitals, make sure you wash them well. Remember, if the cord hasn't fallen off, don't dip them inside the water. Because the cord is, uh, it's advisable to leave the cord clean and dry at all times. So I wouldn't encourage. But if the cord has fallen off, then you can easily dip them inside the water. So that's good. That's okay. Good boy. Good boy. You don't cry, boy. You don't cry. Yes. How are you? How are you? So once you finish the front parts, then you can turn them. Uh, you see my hand is supporting the head and the neck. So you hold them nicely, overturn them like that, and then you wash the behinds. 
I'll wash nicely like that. Um, so make sure you wash all parts, the folds at the back as well. So as you, even as you do this, make sure you're feeling the temperature of the water with your hands so that uh, if it gets too cold, you remove the baby out of the water. Remember, we don't want them to get sick from cold water. Guys, and that's it. Our baby is clean. Anali Akitolewa Komadi, he doesn't want to come out of the water because it's very fresh and clean. But baby, the water is getting cold, so we have to get you out. So once you're done, remove him from the water nicely and wrap him or her. Sorry, with a clean towel. Hey, I to talk my goodness. Good, good, good. So wrap him immediately with a clean towel and wipe him off. So immediately you get half of the water after wrapping him and wiping him off. If it's a breastfeeding baby, please make sure you breastfeed him or her first. Uh, but if it's a big baby, then you can put on the clothes immediately. Oh, let's go now to the clothing session.